Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Kelly. Okay, I'm trying to figure out my light situation. I'm having a little bit of issues. I'm going to have to probably get my husband in here. But I do know that this has, right here, we have, I did the uh, shimmer on it. And it's reflecting a little bit. So I want to make sure it's light enough that y'all can see, but not, because if I put my light like it was, that's ridiculous. So I'm just trying to keep it light because, so y'all can see it. Okay, first, real quick, I want to say thank you, Angie. Angie, Angie, Angie. I got a cool postcard in the mail, and I wanted to thank her. I didn't get a chance. I completely forgot the other day when I got it. And uh, so very happy. Very exciting. So thank you very much, Angie. And, okay, so I've been looking at this, and I'm deciding on what to do. And I think... I think, all right, get into focus now because I just changed the lights. Let's focus. Okay. I really love this up here. This, um, see, it's not going to work out without lighting, and I don't understand. I really like the way this came out, so I don't really want to lose it. So I might turn it this way. Yeah, I'm going to turn it that way. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tree, a tree up with branch and then an owl on it, on one of the branches. I think, I think that's where I'm going. <laughs> we'll see if I get there. Now I'm going to use these, excuse me if you see anything inappropriate. Okay. I'm going to use these uh, crappy acrylic paint dabbers that don't work from, from uh, Ranger. This is called Espresso. I just, I really have been painting out of them. Some work, some don't. So I really just take the lid off. I think you guys have probably seen me do it. Now the Distress Paints in these work fantastic. They have a mixer in the bottom. They're fluid enough. They work fantastic. But these, of course, I bought every freaking color they own, they have. And now they discontinued them. I know, poor me. I know I say it every time I go in here because I've written Ranger and... Tim Holtz, and nobody ever wrote me back. Let's just continue. <laughs> I don't need to get in there. Okay. Apparently, Espresso is coming out below. Why? Why, dear friend, why? And I have no paper towels in here. Why is it coming out below? Knowing me, I probably used it on a different something else with the blue color. I just want some Espresso. Okay. I think we got it now. So I'm just going to take this now. I am planning. Once I empty all these, as I empty them, I'm going to use them again because these tops, I love them with a more fluid paint in them. Um, however, until then, I've got to use them. But I am going to give do a giveaway coming up. It's probably not the next giveaway, but a lot of people ask for different kind of tips for or bottles with tips on them for their uh paint so you can you know really do your thing and do thin lines and all that kind of stuff so I might pick up a couple of those and do a giveaway on that because those are fun so I'm just going to start my tree here if you don't have a uh one of these <laughs> with the lid use your uh makeup sponge. Use your paintbrush. Um, I have these and I got these. I'm, I'm going to see if they still have them because they were on clearance. I haven't opened them yet, but you can see there's makeup sponges in there. I mean, you can go to the dollar store and get them very cheaply. And then these foam brushes. So I might throw one of these foam brushes in the next giveaway because you, you can just rinse them out. I'm very cheap. So I rinse everything out. Um, most of the time. I can't say every time because then, but I, I try because I don't like throwing stuff away. So I try to like spray it down with water so it doesn't get hard. You know, the whole, the whole nine yards. All right. So I have my, which is very dark right there. I have my uh, tree started there. I'm going to have to get a branch, a br I say branch brush to do this a little bit better. I just want to have ideas of where. I want my owl 
Do I want my owl that high up? Mm -mm. No, I don't. I don't. All right. Anyway, I hope y'all had a great weekend. I'm going to take this off. Now it's going to probably lift a little bit of that color underneath because remember we weren't using, um, we weren't using uh, permanent. We were using the dilutions and you can see how it lifted it up, but I'm not going to be too worried about that. I'm just going to kind of blend it down. No worries. There's no mistakes, just happy accidents. And that's what you should live by. All right, so now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take this paint here. This is folk art coffee bean. You could tell how old it is. I'm just gonna take the lid off. I'm gonna take a little paintbrush like that. It's just a, doesn't even have the size, size three. Oh, uh -huh. I'm gonna dip it in here like this. It looked very rude when I did that. Like I was doing a, I don't know. All right, this is much waterier. Water, -er 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 -er. what, what word is that? Water -er year? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have my tree go up this far. Let's do that. Like off the canvas. Okay. All right. So you can see it just looks like a brown thing up there. I think I'm going to start with the branch, maybe kind of take it down this way. Yeah, boy. And then I'm going to dip it in my, dip it in there again. I usually take from the cap, but this is very thick as well. Not as thick as that, but so I'm going to kind of, I probably should use a smaller and you just kind of give it like a, yeah, because we're just giving branches. Look out your window, you'll see. Maybe I'll take it off. You will see trees. And I'll get a smaller, a smaller uh, brush to do some details. It's just a matter of doing like this, and then adding some branches. Like I said, I would use a smaller brush doing that, and I will. I shall. All right, and then you want to kind of brush that down. If you hear a loud noise in the background, it's my daughter playing her game. I don't know what game. Now you can make like the, you know, because trees are very textured. So you can add a little like, just a little bit, just so it gives it more of a bark look. And then I will show you what else I do. My favorite thing in the world to do is trees. I have so many, I've done so many trees. All right, let me do that. I'm gonna take an old, now you can use, this is a piece of hard plastic I got from like a uh, folder that you put in notebooks. You can use this credit card, whatever, and then just scrape in some of your, and if you really wanna be, you know, some of your lines here in your tree, kinda, if you really wanna be fancy, which I've done before, I would put molding paste or modeling paste, whatever y'all call it. You know, I call it molding paste. Um, you could put that in here as well and give it texture and then scrape in it and give it texture. And I'm just gonna just give it a little scrapes, but and really you could see your brush strokes underneath and just kind of do it like that. I love doing this with my trees. I was laughing. I was gonna, I was gonna make a meme, but I didn't because I see everybody putting um, this this meme up that says, "Not my circus, not my monkeys," something to that effect. And I want a meme that says, "It is my circus, and these all are my monkeys." For everybody who who gets me and who, I, I mean, between your emails and your comments and all y'all, I think we're all pretty much the same, aren't we? But I'm like, I'm proud of my monkeys. But I've seen that's been going around on, the, on that Facebook. Facebook. 
and I'm just scratching in. Like I said, you can use whatever you have. Use the back of your paintbrush. Use your paintbrush. You can use the bristles. And just kind of get some texture. All right. And I will lift that up so you can see that a little bit better because it's dark right there. Okay. Got to get my husband in here to do my lights. I can't stand it. All right, now I'm just going to take a smaller brush like that. It is a... People write me too and ask me to tell what brush sizes I use. Because I, I guess I don't do that often. Because I use all the same brushes for everything. Uh, it doesn't say... A zero? I don't know. It's a zero. I don't know. 4,500 Snow Right. I have no idea. It looks like I got it on the clearance. So, I don't know. And then there's some brown that splattered from scraping. No big deal. I'm just going to blend it in. Let's start here. And don't worry if it's not as dark as you want it because you can go over it with the paint. Again, just get build out your Your branches. And like I said, look out your window or if you go for a walk. Trees are different everywhere. Every tree is different. And I got a lot of good feedback for this background. A lot of people are going to try it and uh, I'm so thrilled with the beginners out there. And don't worry if you go over where you, I just want to like extend this out so it's a little thinner. Don't worry if you go over the lines that you just put in. So we'll put them back in. No big deal. We're just kind of giving it a quick once over so we can kind of see where we want them and know that if you're quick enough you can go back in and erase like I did to uh, add more take away whatever like I said there's really no rhyme or reason I'm gonna bring this branch hanging down it's about having fun Just like it to go out pointy a little bit. All right, I think that's kind of enough for now. This one's a little too thick. If I can't fix it, I'm gonna have to erase it off. And you can make them a little curvy. There. It's like you flick it like when you get to the end flick flick and that can go off the edge all right and that's kind of where we're gonna keep that for now a little bit more blend that down my eye's gonna go here i think i'm pretty good I'll just take it off the edge. Okay. So I pulled the winner for the creative paper clay. She got in touch with me right away. And that means that there will be another giveaway coming up soon. How exciting. I just got to figure out what it is because I have quite a few things. Oh, I'm itchy. I got quite a few things that I want to do do giveaways for for people so you know keep your eyes out your eyes out your eyes peel all right so i'm just gonna real quick you can use a hair dryer you know i've discussed that before 
this is acrylic, so it's going to dry permanent, so it's not going to be lifted when we go on. I don't really need to blow it dry, you know, to fully dry it, but now one thing I love about painting is you can do whatever colors of things that you want. So let's cover that up. Okay. Okay. So now I want to do a owl. And I'm going to do the owl, obviously. He's going to sit in here because it's the biggest space. So I'm going to first draw the owl. Now, am I an expert drawer of an owl? No. This is what I do. And I'm going to go in pencil first. Maybe I'll bring it down a bit just so y'all can see. Because I lifted my cam camera up a little bit. Let's hope it just doesn't fall on me. Okay. So I'm probably... All right. So I know his ears are going to be here. And I'll lift this up to you so you can see better once it's done. It's not going to be like, oh, I got paint on me. A fancy, fancy owl. Like you're, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of doing my thing. Almost looks like a cat. <laughs> How funny. Okay. So I'm going to give him big eyes. Hands are hurting today, so excuse me. My whole body's hurting today. It's so humid here and damp and icky and cloudy. All right. I'm going to give him some eyes. And we'll do that. Now, remember, you're just sketching out. I'm going to turn it a little bit to the side. You're only sketching out. When I, I see the eyes are different. You know, it's not a big deal because when we go back to paint, we're going to fix everything. This is just sketching out so we have ideas of where everything goes. So you just do an oval and do your thing. And then, especially because this is canvas board and it's harder to draw on than paper when you're trying to be a fancy pants. So I'm going to give him his beak. And you can see as I turned it towards me to draw, because I have to move stuff out of my way here to move my chair, it's a little crooked, but it's all right. And then I'm going to give him three little feetsies there, and then only two over here because, well, I can bring him down this way and give him another foot there. So we have a basic idea of where our owl's going. Now, if you don't, you know, if, if you want to make them fancier, go ahead. Then, let me just build this out a bit. Give him those two little dots there I know that he has. And then I want to give him some feathers. So I'm going to bring, go like this, his wings rather. I mean, that's how simple. Rewind it and sit and watch and do it yourself and you will have yourself an owl. Okay. Okay. Now here's, like I said, here's where we're at. <clears throat> you look at it. You're like, Ugh, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. I don't like the eyes. Well, I don't know if you were as dramatic as I was when you said the eyes, but you know, I always have to have a little bit of, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to take these ears off. Because like I said, we're just drawing, we're just sketching for ourselves here so we can go in and draw. It's not a big deal. Remember, this is to be, to learn and to have fun. And I'm just going to go back in. I'm just going to lift that part of his head up just a little bit more than it was. And then go back in and sketch in those beautiful ears. And you can make them rounder. Do whatever you want. All right, so here's the question. Now I have an owl. Am I going to do them light brown? Do I want to do them a funky color? Like a bright color? Hmm, that is the question, isn't it? Isn't it? I know his little feet are going to be orange. Hmm. Now you're going to find this very counterintuitive is that the word 
counterproductive. I don't know. I'm not good with big words. I like to make up my own. Anyway, you're going to find this very odd. But when I draw, after I draw, I lightly erase, no matter what it is, a face. Like I said, if you've seen other ones in my videos, you'll know. This is what I do. Because once I get that acrylic paint on there, I'm not going to be able to erase the lines. So I want to have my guidelines where I could paint, but I want it to be light enough that, and you can still see, look, oh my God, look at me go. Now watch, I made a mistake, right? I'm gonna get my brush, wet it with some water. Oh, where did I smear? Right here, just gonna go in, look. So until it's completely dry and cured, if you make a mistake like that and you have big clumsy hands and fingers and arms, and then you just wipe, look how fun fancy, isn't it? All right. Well, I know that I'm going to start with orange on his little piggies. So I'm going to take an orange, any brand, any orange. If you don't want to do orange piggies on him, little feetsies, then don't. Do whatever color you want. It's your owl. All right. I'm going to take a small brush, dip it in my lid and go right here. I can still see my lines. I'm going to give them some feet. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between each of them. As you can see, I shall lift it up. Well, see how I did it? Left those lot like a little bit of space between there because I'll probably go in with a little darker color to kind of give it a little shading. So they look separate. All right. Okay. And there we go. Now I know his little beak's going to be orange because that's what I want it to be. And I'm just going to go over where my line is and paint that in. And then he has his dots there I'll do later. Now, let me tell you, if you don't have acrylic paint, if you only have markers, if you, oh, wait, my head's itchy. If you only have markers, if you only have Crayola watercolors, if you only have Crayola markers, you can still do this. It's not a big deal. The point is not what you use. It's the point is that you do it. Okay. You see how simple it's not, it's really not a big deal. You know what a big deal is? Is that now I have to clean off my brushes <coughs> and I just, I'm choking on my spit a little bit. Y'all know I'm a little, a little odd. Okay. Well, I might as well tell you a little story of what's going on in my life right this second, besides health related, because that's all I usually talk about and that's just no good. So we're not going to go into the health route today. However, my husband's family's coming up from Pittsburgh. They live in, we, we grew up in Pittsburgh. I moved here when I was 17. My husband still stayed in Pittsburgh. We were only friends at that point. And then he went to the Navy, blah, blah, blah. I dreamt about him. We got together. We're together. We're going to be married October 11th. It's going to be 24 years. Okay. So his parents are coming up. So we decided, now I don't have any, my family doesn't come here. Nobody really comes here or anything like that. So it's kind of a house that uh, Dave and Emily and I kind of, you know, it's ours. Like we have it the way we like it. I have one, we have three bedrooms upstairs and two bedrooms downstairs. So up here, Dave has his office. I have my art room and then my daughter's ferrets have <laughs> the other room up here. And then downstairs is we put our bedrooms because it's easier for me. I only have to walk down once because I have like a, a uh, bi-level. So when you walk in the front door, you walk up the steps or you walk down the steps. So when you walk down the steps, our bedrooms are there. And then there's a full bathroom down there, our laundry room. So that way at night, I only have to really walk down there once. Um, instead of always going down to do, because that's where I had my art room before. Anyway, so let me pick another color here of what I'm going to do. Mm, 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 mm. I would like some, a goldy brown, maybe. Let's see, some burnt sienna. So we went, anyway, our house is more for us. So they're coming and his aunt's coming and that's fine. But we went and looked at we haven't had new furniture in a very long time. And, uh, so we just went to look and we found, we found furniture that we wanted. 
so we ordered it. We got my, because my daughter sits on the chair that my son used to sit on all the time. And it's so old and beat up. So she got a new chair. And we were getting, like, a new couch for us. And I won't say where we went, but... Anyway, we went and we picked we picked what we wanted. Her chair came the next day, but ours was being ordered. So, all right. So you see how I'm just using some burnt sienna and I'm just going to, it's a lighter brown than the trees. I'm just going to go around the eyes and the nose. So her chair came the next day, no problem. And they told us that it was going to be the first week of October that we were going to get it. This is like a month ago. So we were like, no problem, because his family was supposed to come November. Well, then they can't come in November because his dad has to have a surgery on his other hand. And I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time. So they're coming October and our anniversary, like I said, is October 11th. So they're coming that Monday after because his sister's getting married and uh you know they're gonna go to her wedding so then last week we get a phone call from the store and they're like you know great news we have your you know your furniture's coming friday so we're all excited and you know our couch is coming everything else and then come thursday afternoon they call and say uh oh, nope the one the, one of the ones that they sent I don't know, had a rip in it or some shit like that. And, uh, you know, it, it's back to the first week of October. It's coming. Now, that's fine. Although I'm very pissed off because I want my couch. But they don't exactly know when it's coming. To me, the first of, you know, the first week of October is starting Wednesday. But I think they mean the full week. But they don't know. They don't have, like, he called them today and they have no answers. They have no idea when it's coming. It's all at the, where the, uh, what's it called, warehouse? And I'm very aggravated because I want to have this before they come. And I want to be able to move my living room so I can, the couch that we have now, I can set up for them to sit on. I don't know. I just hate, I just hate companies that like, why tell us on a Monday that you're coming on a Friday and delivering it. And then the day before not bring it. I don't know. I can't talk and, and concentrate and do this. It's awful. It's that kind of day. All right. You can see I left the eyes open and I'm just going in with here. Now we're going to, you see, it's like, it looks like one big brown blob and that's okay because we're going to either do some highlighting or some trace, you know, like a, uh, outlining so that's it we're waiting on to see when the hell it's coming i think they they should you know they say that it was because it was torn i don't know my husband works for himself i said to him today you know what companies like they don't care that we're waiting it's just very annoying i hate doing i hate like these companies or stores or whatever and like, we're just like little ATMs to them. They make money off of us and we have no choice. You know, whether it's groceries or food or clothes or whatever. We're all kind of, I don't know, stuck, I guess. Like what, you know, I said to my husband, they should give us a discount. They made you, they told you that we were, they were coming on Friday and everything like that. And we were waiting and waiting and then they call you the day before and say nope sorry and now they don't even know when it's going to be no no i must say and they're you know they haven't charged us for it yet they only charged us for the chair that we got so far which is fine i think that's you know good but still I'm not happy i want my new couch i'm going to be able to be comfortable Because our other couch is still in good shape and everything, but it's the one, it's a couch that like has the back of it is not attached. It's like Velcroed. 
And as you know, I have animals and it gets full of dog hair. And then you gotta clean it, and then the backs, the dogs lay on the back, and then the, ugh, it's just a mess. So, I was very excited. I hope it comes before they come to visit. So then we all have seats, you know, like places to sit. It's hard because we don't live, you know, nobody bothers with us, so we just kinda live on our own, you know, we just do our own thing and make ourselves comfortable in our house which most people I'm sure do. I don't know why I told you that story, but I think cause it just, they just, he just called to double check and nobody knew anything and I'm kind of pissed off, but it's not his fault. What color eyes are we going to do? Let's do, all right. I'm going to do green, like a gold green. Uh, all you have to do is take metallic, a, uh, is that called metallic green? Yeah, you know, like when you buy like the folk art and all that kind of stuff, it's metallic green. Or just guy get green and then buy metallic gold. And then mix them together and you'll get a real pretty green gold. Does that make sense? It does to me. So I'm going to do his little eyes. So that's my pity party for the day. I know. And I have so many other things I should be worrying about, but I just want my fucking furniture. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't ask for much in life. I don't get much in life, honestly. You know? But, I don't know. That's my rant for the day. I know. In the big scheme of things, how important is it? I don't know. Now I'm going to take some of this green on here on my paintbrush, clear up there. All right, I'm going to put my lid back on there. Probably going to need another coat of that. I had a little bit of water on the brush and I watered it down a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I am going to take this and kind of, I want some splatters. I'm going to have to put a little water on there and splat. All right, you can splat anywhere you want. Not in a big pump like that. Doesn't want to come off my brush. So guess what? We ain't splatting. You can just sit here until I need you again. Oh God. Okay. I'm trying to talk low because he's in there working and I got a big mouth today. <laughs> I drive him nuts. I just feel like we get people, especially, and, and I can't say especially because I know people will say, well, I'm not chronically ill and that doesn't happen. But sometimes I just feel like we get fucked. <laughs> you know, it's like not be, I just want a comfortable couch for Christ's sake. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't ask for too much. And we don't have the money. I put it on my uh, credit card. We bought, oh, you know when we bought it? We bought it, uh, what was it, Labor Day, Memorial Day, whatever this past last Monday of the month was in August, whatever holiday that was. I get confused. Um, but yeah, that's that's when we got it. So that's how long it's been. A month. But it's like a great, you know, it's one of the recliner couches and it has like big, like enough, like for him to be very comfortable because, you know, he has those back problems. Poor thing. So you can only imagine the Velcro not holding the back of the thing on and then the dog laying on the back. It's a pain in the ass. I just want him to be able to sit and relax and be comfortable. All right. So that is enough of me whining. I'm going to take some white. Now... When you're doing eyes, if you're doing a, a girl or whatever you're doing, sometimes using an off-white for the eyes is a good thing. But with the owl, I want it to be white. I want things to, I'm going to add highlights. So I'm going to Just add them bad boys in there. 
just so it really speaks, you know, like really not speaks, but how you say, uh, highlights it, you know, like makes it look bright. And don't worry if they're not the same eyes because he could be turning a little bit. You don't know. So we'll just leave that go. Oh no, we'll just leave it go. Alright, I'm gonna dry that real quick. I'd love to put a fame on here. I don't know what though. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is highlight. What am I gonna highlight with? I don't know. Let's see if I can get my white. This is a Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen. I love it, but sometimes it doesn't want to work on here. But I want to do highlights. I want to kind of really make his stuff kind of show. There we go. That's his little feathers. Fancy feathers. Let me just go over this, color that in. I can paint over that. This one I'm done. It's permanent. These are great markers. I'm going to kind of I just want them to be a little fancy. I want it to kind of stick out, if that makes sense. Now you can just go in and kind of blend it with your finger. So it's not as bright, like it's not so stark around the, you can even do it here, blend it. Well, if it didn't already dry. <laughs> and just kind of run it down just to kind of blend it in a bit. Oh my God, my arm's sticking. I tell you, artist issues today. All right, I'm gonna put a little so we have some digits. Just kind of blend it out. Don't worry if you get it in your brown. It's not a big deal. We'll go back in. And I'm going to trace the eye. All right. Now, instead of me going back for the green glitter, sorry if my hand, my arm made the thing go in and out. Um, I'm going to go in around it with some dark green. Any brand, remember, any brand. The uh, store brands of Michaels and AC Moore are fantastic. You don't have to worry. You can get your nice colors from them as well. And like I said, just to make, a, you know, green gold or whatever, you just mix. But I'm going to go in with my regular dark green. So it kind of makes those eyes pop a bit. And we still have to put his pupil in, so. And you can go in if you want and touch it to, or blend it if you want. Not a big deal. Not going to be too worried about it. I don't know what kind of mouths owls have. I don't know. Let me look. I didn't know. I didn't even think about an owl's mouth. Sometimes I get worried about putting things in here. Like, what, what, you know. What would come up if I put Al's mouth? I don't know. Okay, their beak is their mouth. Fancy. Okay. I don't know why I didn't know that. I did know that. That's strange. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be his mouth. His mouth, his mouth, his mouth. And I think I'm going to add, this is Ceramico Antique White that I use for everything. I'm going to go back in on his feathers a little bit. And just very easily, or gently or whatever, just kind of go over some of it. It's a little more... And I got the scrapes underneath as well, but it's a little bit uh, creamier color, like a more tan. I 
I might put some feathers like this down here. I don't even know. If you don't like it when you're done, you can just go over and paint it again brown. No big deal. He's going to be like a spotted owl. Okay. Now, as you can see, right here, I've been dripping water as I'm going to paint or paint. And you see how that kind of smeared a little bit? Not, not a big deal. But since it's still wet, I could take my finger over it. And that's where I put some of the green, too when I was flicking it and it just kind of blends back. No big deal. Okay. Now I'm going to take, where is it? La, 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 la. My marker or my pen rather the Energel liquid gel ink pen that I love. Let's see if it's going to let me. Do I have any of my... Well, maybe I can use this. I'll just use a black... If you have a black Sharpie, uh, Faber-Castell, Sharpie, Bic, those are all alcohol ink markers. So I'm just going to kind of give him a big... with my black marker. Make him have big eyeballs. Big uh, pupils. And once that dries, I'll go over it one more time. And I'm not really digging the green. I, I do have to. I do have to lighten that a bit. That's a little annoying to me. So I'm gonna rinse my brush off, dry it, take that fluorescent green, and just kind of gently go over it. It'll still show through a little bit the darker green, but this will mute it a little bit. bit more. Now if you look at it and you're like, oh, you know what, the eyeball's too big, this, that, the other, all you gotta do is go with your brown and go over it. I just want them to have glowing eyes. See where I went up a bit. Let me just place this right here. Take my wipe. And dab it. Now, if you look at it and you're like, you know what? I'm not really digging all the white and the leopard spot, you know, the spots and all that. Take your brown that you were using, take your brush again, and this is what I do. I just go back and forth until I, I like it. Like I said, sometimes I'll take, you know, I'll be like, oh, I don't like those white things. All right, too much water on there, Kel. Yeah, but this will kind of lighten them a little bit. I mean, not lighten them, but like mute them is more of what I want to say. Just a little bit. Oh my God. We watch, I don't know. Has anybody seen the, uh, what's it called? I gotta think of the name of the show. Hillbilly Blood. Hillbilly Blood on, I think it's the Discovery Channel. I started watching it and then my husband started loving it and watching it as well. And I love it. All right, so I'm going to blend these a little bit more and push my brush a little bit more. I was being very gentle with it before, but I'm going to just kind of move it around. But if you get a chance, watch one. It might be on demand or something. All right. 
you can just go in with your paper towel and tap. Now, I'm not loving on this. Not loving on the news. I got these from the dollar store. Have you ever seen them? They're like pointy. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get that off, that white. Or maybe I can just blend it a little bit more. Yeah, it's just going to take some of it off. I don't want it as stark. That makes sense. And I can always throw more orange in there. I can't even be, like, I, I don't even know. I have so much on my head and my mind. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. And that's about as much as I'm, I see that I'm at 46 minutes and that just is way too long. But damn tree still ain't dry. Got it all over me. It's so humid is probably why. So that is what we have so far. And I will post a picture once I'm completely done with it. I just, like I said, I'm going to go in and I'm going to fine tune him up a bit and I just wanted to show you a few techniques. Just make them a little, you know, a little cuter. I might do a saying down here. I'm not real sure. I don't know. Now, if you don't, like I said, if you don't have paint, you might have, you know, pens or whatever, markers. You know, don't be afraid. Use whatever you have. Let's see if that goes in there. Just use whatever you have. That's the that's the fun part of it. What the hell is that? Um, and like I said, the the white is highlights, but I'm gonna go in and subdue them a little bit. And I'm gonna think about I might put a sun here. I don't know, or maybe a moon. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But one thing do not forget is in the eyes. Now I have to do the eyes again, but take either white paint or your white marker and give them like. Just a little shine, just a dot on the same side. They put a dot here and a dot here just to make his eyes look a little more, you know, open. It's just a little folk art out. It's not for realism or anything like that. It's just a fun thing to do. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys do do this, tag me. I love when you guys tag me and email me and send me your art so I can see what you guys have done. I love it, love it, love it. And just let me know. Like I said, it's just a very folk art kind of owl with a tree. And I'm going to probably put some saying down here and just kind of fuss around a little bit to tighten everything up. And that's about it. So I hope you guys have a great day. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you found me on the internet somewhere. Uh, I love when they, they uh, suggest my own videos to me. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. But uh, I just want to thank you guys very much. And keep an eye out for the next uh, giveaway. Thank you guys so very much. And of course, any questions, just ask. And I hope to see what you guys do. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.